The Bibiana family were the most important theater designers of the 18th century. It's a dynasty of four generations. They began as painters of illusionistic architecture, of trompe l'oeil frescoes, but then become impresarios of the arts, find their way onto the stage, and create sets that go beyond anything that had ever been done before. Their fame very quickly spreads across Europe, and they work on every corner of the continent, designing sets from Vienna to Stockholm to St. Petersburg to Lisbon and down to Naples. The exhibition is divided really into three sections. The beginnings of an idea, finished drawings, and drawings that emphasize the family's signature invention, the so-called Chena Parangolo. Most of the theater sets before the Bibiana time use a single point perspective, which would be placed at the center of the stage. The Chena Parangolo changed this. It used not one perspective point at the center, but two vanishing points for the architecture's projection, and those were offstage in the wings. It essentially turned a building so that it faced the audience at an oblique angle. The effect of this was that the illusion worked from anywhere on the stage. It also allowed the possibility of creating a world far grander than you could convey with that one point perspective. An alternate parallel reality where the sets that could be created beyond that could be of unprecedented grandeur and magnificence. It astonished audiences in the 18th century to see these sets. They had literally never seen anything like it before. The exhibition celebrates the promised gift of 25 drawings by the Bibiana family from the collection of Jules Fisher. Jules is the most Tony Award-winning lighting designer in Broadway history. He's designed the lights for over 300 plays on Broadway, as well as concerts, movies, etc. He's been collecting Bibiana drawings for almost 40 years. The Morgan has a collection of thousands of theater drawings already, including more than 100 by the Bibiana family. So Jules Fisher thought that it made sense for his Bibiana drawings to join the great collection already here at the Morgan where they can be studied. The title of the exhibition is Architecture, Theater, and Fantasy. They are architects and architectural draftsmen, but the architecture that they create is imaginary. It's fantastic. It goes beyond what anyone would actually build in many cases. But they're not simple works that are ends in themselves. They're images of the architect's imagination that then have to be realized through the mastery of these techniques that allowed the theater to look as it had never looked before. <laughs>